Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode 11 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Baby's waking up. It's so cute. <laughs> Poor baby. He's like, what the? <laughs> no, don't be mean, baby. Well, who else? <laughs> yeah, you do. My poor baby. <laughs> he like, what? The mountains. It's like, okay. If I have someone, if I have a friend who says like, oh my god, DJ. Let's go camping. I'm gonna look at you like nuts. I don't want to go fucking camping. <laughs> Ma'am, number one, I'm not surviving in the wilderness. You see Naked and Afraid? I've seen Naked and Afraid. So, you know, those people are there for about like a month or so. You know, at the end, you know how like in typical other reality TV show competitions where they're supposed to win something? In that show and in that series, you win nothing. Just just to know that you're good at surviving in the wilderness if something happens. That's okay. I'd rather stay in the house. <laughs> because there are things <laughs> in the forests and campsites. Uh -uh. As I told people, we, um, freaking lay back out. It's cute, but your girl ain't doing it. Just waiting for that for Come on, I gotta Oh, Sora. <laughs> I mean, to hang out. Aww, you see? You see? The start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> What's up, Elle? What's wrong? <laughs> I really think she does. Oh. 
Well, I mean, the relaxing course looks nice. Oh. Sora, wait, no, no, no. So divide and conquer. Of course, she's like, yes, come on, my wife, we're going together. My poor baby. He's like, I don't want to be with you. Like, we, we're we not at that team teamwork phase yet. We are I don't trust you yet phase. Uh oh. Maybe she's thirsty. Tanookis? Well, they're Tanookis. I, I don't think you have Tanookis in Skyland, as you said. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a joke or something. Oh, you just need to be changed. <laughs> See, they make a good team. <laughs> oh, baby, don't be mean. This is just for you two to bond more. Mm-hmm. How are you going to do that with L? <laughs> my poor baby boy oh my god help him <laughs> you know maybe the calm walk was a little bit better I mean well they are on the calm walk but how about the calm walk without the electric part Oh God. <laughs> the mountain? A gondola? You got it? No, I think that weighs the answer. Come on, Tabata.
Exactly. The fact that baby is going to walk all the way on there. Keep going, baby, you got it. I would be so tired though. Like Jesus Christ. I think at that time I probably would have 10,000 steps. That's beautiful. Oh, it's a wing! <laughs> That's you, but a wing. Oh, just a feeling. Of course, it has to be a gondola this <laughs> way. <laughs> also, Sora and Majora, they're, they're still sitting down after he this moment. Oh my god. I know a lot of people literally want uh, eventually when Agatha finally comes as Butterfly for her transformation to kind of be very similar to Prism's because both Wing and Sky are similar to a T and such so it would make the most sense for Butterfly to match with Prism. Honestly, I'm here for it. What do you feel? I got some cure peace in here. <laughs> 
no, 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 no. Th there's a reason why. So he can let go. <laughs> But the plan worked though, right? Also, once again, Macho and Sora taking a sweet time, sitting together, probably making out. <laughs> Like, it's not time for us to come out. <laughs> no, there they are. <laughs> They're like, so, yeah, what, what the heck were y'all two doing? Like, mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> No pose? No pose. Mm. No, let's just stand there for a minute and leave. Oh no, we don't hang on. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, 
Once again, that was like the start of the beautiful part partnership between you two. For you to go. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. That means next week. Next week, the next three episodes. Oh my god. Oh god, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm never going to be ready. Because now we're going into. Ooh, next week is going to be good then. Ooh, so, oh my god. No, I'm, not, I'm ready, but I'm not. Okay, so for our future partnership between Agatha and Tsubasa, I, I like the fact that we got to see these two work together because eventually it is going to show them both that damn we make a really good team like we do that <laughs> we do that is like yes that's gonna be so freaking good like i love the fact that you know yes agatha took the gondola and Supasa was just like i'm just gonna go up here gonna go see what's up here you know but i'm gonna try my damn hardest just to get up here and at the end because of the fact that she's at the gondola at the same time she sees how hard working he is and how much he wants to get up there so of course it was sweet that she's up at the top literally with her hand out like yes we're doing this together we're a team it's me and you you and i we're together we're doing this we getting this done like yes but i was expecting <clears throat> freaking oh my god Tom, that was cute <laughs> okay i was expecting her at the end of this episode for agatha to literally call subasa subasa and not boy anymore because like that would literally also evolve their relationship and such because he, he doesn't like it of course when she's calling him boy i mean i would get it i think anybody would feel some type of way about that you know what was boy girl or i i hate using the term females and sometimes I will use it in my videos and I, I, I freaking hate when I use it. I hate when guys use it. I think it's the most like fake thing. That's like if I come up to you and say, hey, male, like you probably ain't going like that ish either. So nah, but <laughs> it's just being respectful, respectful at the end of the freaking day. And so we're, we're slowly but surely seeing the, you know, that between these two that by, I think, officially when she comes like those are going to be unbeatable now as for Sora and Macho <laughs> literally like I said again the whole time while Wing is fighting where were those two of course those two were sitting in the fill of hours just talking you know of course because they wives they married secretly and you know they just want to show each other how much they love each other which is so freaking cute would have loved to see more of that in this episode but of course as I said, going into last week's episode and to this week's episode for the preview, like, this is very much a start of the Agatha, um, Subasa, like, focus, fo uh, focus partnership, that's what I meant to say. So we're not always going to get the Mashiro and Sora, like, developmentations and episodes where it's like, oh yeah, they're going to be placed in the back, they're going to do something off screen that we won't see, and then it, the episode is just going to lead up to these two and sometimes they might go back and forth with that i'm not mad at that um i feel like there's one more oh okay now there's one other thing i want to talk about so we are now 11 weeks into this show and typically if we look at older pretty cure series in from the past up to now um 
we already have our team for one two slowly but surely um leaks will come out but it's very interesting 11 weeks in and we still have not um gotten any leaks of your majesty the last leak that we've gotten is just her voice that's really it and of course it's l we all know it's l now something just tells me in my opinion because 20th anniversary and stuff they are keeping this very very hush hush like if you think of anything especially when i started reacting to pretty care in a nutshell so i would like to say um between kitta kitta uh, Maho Girls and Lego Princess. That's when like everybody was able to find who the final cure is, what she looks like, da 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 da, fairly quickly. And I think because of this, and because once again this is the 20th anniversary, they really truly want to keep this extremely on the down low and hush hush. They don't want everybody knowing and such. And honestly, I'm not mad about that because I mean, it, the last couple of the seasons, it's very kind of obvious of who the final cure is. But it's just like also the spoilers of who, who, what they're going to look like and when they're going to pop out and stuff. So if we don't find out in the next few weeks, so I say between episodes 12 to maybe 15 or 16, because we know Agatha has to come as Cure Butterfly, at least I, I want to like, in my opinion, I say before summer starts, she has to come in as Butterfly and usually between like the first couple of weeks of my birthday month that is when officially final care comes in and they might be switching that up they might wait a little bit longer i don't know we we don't really know what they're currently planning for this but seriously th that's just like the the freaking pre-care all-stars f movie they have kept like lows downs on the hush hush on that so there's like a countdown going going on recently right now with one of the twitters that i'm following um and so possibly, I think today represents either day 12 or day 11. I don't know. Um, I have to go back and look. But something does tell me that by the time we get to day one, that is when we're officially going to possibly get a new trailer, a synopsis, who all is going to be in the movie, not besides the cures themselves, because of course, this is now the first movie in a hot minute that everybody is officially returning but I feel like that's when we're going to find out who 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 is the bad guy, um, he or she, who are they going to be played as, who is the other character that's possibly going to be in the movie, aka usually it's a boy or a girl, um, more girl than boy. My biggest issue will also be is Kira Echo finally going to be a part of this? It would make the most sense. Once again, 20th anniversary because I know a lot of people, and I can speak even for myself, really want to see Echo in the mix and joining in on the fun because we only really get to see her in the ending dance portions and such so it's a little upsetting that we don't always get to see her so fingers crossed and then plus if they really wanted to yes they could put my my other boys in it i would love that a lot so once again fingers freaking crossed but yes this was a really cute and start of the baby's like future partnership it was very adorable i love the wing i mean seriously that that is their thing for both of them now and they're always going to remember that and just now looking at that and just thinking how this series is going to end it is probably going to be extremely hard for those two when they say goodbye like we all know for sora and machido it's going to be hard but i feel like for agatha and subasa because i'm already like super attached to both of them hell i'm attached to all four of them once again, we're gonna we're gonna be crying. I already know it. We all know it. If you know me and my thing with pretty hair, I always end up crying at the end of the show because I'm always sad because we have to say goodbye and then also say hello to the new girls. But yeah, I, I know I'm going to be a hot mess next year. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 11 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Hair. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos of Chimelay. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 12. Bye, guys.